what is going on guys so obviously the Carson Wentz trade rumors we're going to keep talking about all this we don't know what's going to happen this is still the big question of who's going to be starting quarterback for next year are they going to draft one or are they going to stick with Jalen Hurts or are they going to actually get some compensation for Carson Wentz and get him out of the building from all the rumors that have been swirling around so Chris Morrison you know of NFL was the first one to put out the reports Early, the first time we heard this was Carson Wentz, uh, you know, doesn't want to be the backup um, and, and doesn't want to be here anymore with the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, could request a trade. Um, and he put out that news. Adam Schefter kind of rejected it. But obviously, after Adam Schefter has looked at the body of work of the Eagles 2020 season and sees how everything went, he thinks ultimately Carson Wentz will get traded. Um, he said pretty much uh, listening to Howie Roseman's press conference because Howie Roseman said uh, they're not thinking about that at this time. They're not going into that at this time, which pretty much means that they're not they didn't want to talk about that, obviously, at the uh, press conference. Harry Roseman's press conference was pretty much a waste of time. I mean, I didn't watch it till like two days later after he had it. I knew it was going to be a waste of time because every time he asked Howie a question, he's like always just says good things about that person. I obviously know that's all he's going to do the whole press conference. So from Adam Schefter saying he believes in the end, the quarterback is going to get traded. He hadn't said it yet, but he's but he does and he hasn't complained about it publicly but he wants to be traded okay and, and it might be the case i mean we don't know the truth there's stuff saying he wants to fix the relationship that there's stuff saying that he wants to get traded and i think at the end of the day because it's not really because of carson because there's so many more problems with this team right now to carry a franchise quarterback and the, the way this team is right now because this team is not ready to win right now in my opinion they're just not i think they just this roster is getting gutted. You know, Alshon Jeffrey and Malik Jackson are going to be gone. They've already restructured both of their contracts to the point where they will be gone post-June. Um, you know, a lot of contracts are going to be gone, and this is going to be a young squad going into 2021, and that's definite. Um, so uh, Adam Schefter thinks that they're not going to get a first-round pick. For Carson Wentz, he said most likely a second-round pick, if that's the case, and maybe some more mid-round picks, maybe something late. Um, with that, but you never know. I mean, the NFL surprises you every day. So I'm not saying that a first round pick is going to be, you know, obviously you got to kind of balance everything out because he's got a big price tag on him. So the pick is probably going to be a little bit lower. So, you know, since the team has to, you know, you know, fork out a lot of money for a guy that's going to come on their team on franchise money. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, look, anything that's from Adam Schefter or Ian Rapport, it's always important. I think Adam Schefter is one of the smartest guys out there. Um, you know, that, that, that really just kind of gives his perspective on things. And I, this, this may could happen, may not. I mean, it just depends on what could happen. But at the end of the day, guys, this team is not ready to win. And to have a franchise quarterback with that much money on his tag right now, like just, just how much money is on him right now, it, it's just, I think it's, I don't know. I wish... I wish at this point that that price tag wasn't on Carson Wentz. I think it was at the time I thought it was good to re-sign him. At the time I thought we saved more money than we should, even though we're not really we you know the contract wasn't as bad as it looked. But in the problem of the Eagles cap situation, it's bad. It's it's just worse. Um, this team is never under the cap ever. I would like a season where they're actually under the cap, where they actually have you know, maybe 30 to 50 million cap space, but that, that's just not going to happen. How, Howie Roseman has pretty much done the same, figured out the same thing every single year. Since, since the Super Bowl, he figured that he would keep everybody on this roster, which he definitely said. He humbled himself to say that he didn't draft right, not quote-unquote, but really had didn't draft right, seeing these other players be successful. And um, <clears throat> Howie Roseman tried, tried following the formula of if we could win with the same roster in 17, you could win with an almost same roster in the next few years. And he made a mistake. And um, I don't, you know, I don't, uh, I don't know. I really don't forgive him for it, to be honest, because he had so much time to do so many different things. So many trades were in front of his face. So many signs he could have had. So many draft picks he could have had. And, and because he wants to be the smartest guy in the room, this is what happened. So, we could be losing Carson Wentz. This could actually happen and be successful somewhere else. You got those people are like, oh, well, he's going to be successful somewhere else, guys. But it is what it is. Um, I think Carson Wentz needs a change of scenery. I think he needs to get away from the Philadelphia Eagles. I just think he just needs to be gone. I mean, that's just me. 
I just think he's mentally scarred. I think too much has happened. I mean, I just think too much has happened to him at this point. I just, I think too much. There, there's been way too many backup quarterbacks that have just put in more success. But at the end of the day, guys, the front office is to blame. Before I blame D- Carson Wentz, Doug Peterson, before I blame any of these guys, I'm blaming the front office before I blame. I'd rather have Howie out before Doug Peterson at this point. But obviously, that's not happening. We're keeping both of them. Howie Roseman, Doug Peterson are on contract throughout 2021, and I think that's it. I think a few years ago they got a four-year deal. Uh, both of them got a four-year deal at the same time. I think it was after um, it was after the I think a year after the Super Bowl or something like that. They got uh, extensions, so I'm not happy about it. But it is what it is. And uh, if Carson's not, you know, if it's to a point where we're not in winning mode, obviously we want to win. But if we don't have the roster to do it, and we're just gonna spend all this money on a quarterback right now it's just a waste of money at this point if we're not really rebuilding retooling whatever you want to call it I just don't think we're in win now mode I think a lot of stuff needs to be settled before we're even in this point to be in contention of anything anymore so we'll see what happens all right guys I'll see you guys later chicks put up files five peace out guys peace